Hello and welcome to Marais Integer. My name is Vyacheslav and today I show you Blue and Red Burn deck. Budget version for Atlantic Old School Magic. Let's go! Here you can see all spells in the deck. And now I tell you about game plan. The plan is simple, it's stamp the deck. So you put them to play creatures, playing man on flying gym, we're flying, so it's hard to be blocked. And just turn by turn go to attack. At the same time you can use your direct damage to kill opponent creatures, blockers or just treats, or just deal damage to opponent to win the game faster. Use counter spell to protect yourself from combo pieces, from big guys, and from removal to your way to the win. Use big mana spells to gain advantage, or deal a lot of damage to opponent, or just kill creatures. And protect yourself from artifacts, creatures again, and creatures by my this. So, <laughs> it's all simple. Just put the creature into play, try to protect it, and try to deal a lot of damage to opponent to win game fast. Now let's look at the cards by sections. Let's start from the main part of the deck, I mean creatures. First one is the flying man. Just 1-1 one, one for 1-1, one, one, but with flying. It's a very interesting guy, because it's too teeny, so many players don't want to use removal against. And flying man for 1-1 one, one can deal 3 or 4 points of damage, like lightning bolt, or even better. And after it, he can block, or can be traded by removal spell. Trade flying man for lightning bolt is very good. Second creature is a Serenity Perfect. Very popular in old school. 3 4 just for free mana and with flying, it's very effective. It deals 1 damage to you each upkeep, but at the same time, when he attacks, he deals 3 points of damage each turn to opponent. So, good trade. Of course, that contains 4 copies of Flying Man, 4 copies of Serene Deep, and my version don't contain more creatures. Now, go to spells. We have 3 copies of Psionic Blast. It's an interesting moment of old school because best burn spell in the format is blue. For free mana, for points of damage, it can kill a lot of creatures, including Serenity for free, and Sir Angel, and for points of damage for free mana. Big amount. Of course, it deals 2 points of damage to you, but again, like Serenity, good trade. Also, we have 4 copies of Lightning Ball, and 4 copies of Chain Lightning. It's classic. Effective one spells, you need just 7 to <laughs> win the game. That contains 2 black visors. These are any tricks just to deal damage. When you play black visors on the first turn and you want to play, you can deal 3. Yeah, really 3 points of damage, and when you can deal more. It depends on what deck your opponent uses and what hand he has. Sometimes black is not very useful, but we go back to it later. Also, that contains big mana spells. My version contains Disintegrate and Fireball. But maybe two Fireballs is better. I just like Disintegrate. Fireball can kill creatures. Not one creatures, but a lot of creatures. And deal as many damage to opponent as many mana you have. Disintegrate is similar, but he can kill only one creatures, only one creature. But if it's a troll, he can't regenerate. Good. And last damage card is a two copies of Earthquake. Earthquake does X damage to each player and each non-flying creature in play. Bad that it deals damage to us, but as you can see, all our creatures have flying, so they don't affect by Earthquake, and we can just destroy all opponent creatures. With the aggressive deck that opponent use with Savannah Alliance and Pixies. We need just 2 mana to kill a lot of them, and deal 1 damage. And of course we can win the game by Earthquake. Or if we in bad position, we can use Earthquake to draw. Like, you have 5 points, opponent have 6 life points, play Earthquake for 6, and you still not lose. <laughs> you need to play next game. It also works with Searing Blast. If you have not many lives, and opponent have not so many, you can just go to tie very helpful trick sometimes. This section contains more interest cards. 
first of them of course counter spell we have four copies and it's just counter time spell counter spell can protect your creature from removal and can protect you from direct damage of course it can stop summoning of big guys like Arna or Jizam and much important counter spell can counter any piece of combo best way to stop opponent combo if your opponent use combo deck is a counter spell because removal sometimes don't prevent at least one effect counter spell prevent all <laughs> also we have two shatters to destroy artifacts artifact creatures and mana base I mean moxons of course Maze of Hiss. Protect us from creatures and very important that because our deck contains only flying creatures and vicious factories but <laughs> it's a different part so if you open it play Jazam or Renam and you have Maze of Hiss, you can protect yourself by Maze of Hiss each turn and don't stop to go to attack because your creatures can be blocked by Renam and one of them even can be blocked because have force walk also we have soul ring for ramp mana ramp is needed better with power but soul ring help too because if you play soul ring on one of the first turns you can play protected serene deep on the third turn because we have five mana three for serene deep two for counter spell and you know when your opponent knows that you have counter spell sometimes he will mistake and don't play spells at the time when he need to play it and some big advantage spells it's brain gazer drox card nice that target player drox card so you can play black wise and play big brain gazer to the opponent to deal a lot of damage by black wise in the next turn brain gazer draw a lot of cards but it draw some cards from your deck it can be even lands at the same time recall that need more sources because you need to discard cards to use this effect but recall can return cards from your graveyard so all direct damage spells that you currently play you can return by recall and discard lands or black wise that don't work in the moment that you have in into hand and play damage spells again very good and also my version contains two control magic it can protect you from creatures but you know sometimes you open have not creatures because control deck so maybe it's better to put into main deck something else you can choose interest cards for your meta game but at the real as you can see my deck don't contain important cards important and expensive like Feel of Fortune and Mana Drain better to put Feel of Fortune and Mana Drain instead of Control Magic I just don't have them and maybe we'll have in future but not right now sorry oh, go to lands now and here you can see classic <laughs> budget old school mana base with Four copies of City of Brass to stabilization, four copies of Mission's Factory because Mission's Factory best creature in the format, one strip mine to kill Mission's Factory, and Dangerous Lands that not budget, Island that contains 10 islands, and Mountain that contains four mountains. Of course, if you have Volcanic Island, it's better to use, mm, I think, six islands and four. Volcanic Islands here or maybe eight islands for okay, basic islands for Volcanic Islands and two City of Brass because even with this mana base it's stable maybe if you don't like to take damage because you already have the Serene Deep the Severing Blast and Earthquake maybe it's a good plan even remove City of Brass and use only Volcanic Islands as stabilization as the first time at least as you can see, I have not volcanics. <laughs> the sideboard. Here we have three copies of Blue Elemental Blast. As you can see, sometimes we deal damage to yourself, so it's better to protect against red decks. Four copies of Red Elemental Blast. Modern Blue, because Red Elemental Blast can't counter Time Walk or kill Serene Deep. Very good. Oh. Element, blue elemental also can protect your serene deep this deck don't contains power so contains two energy fluxes to destroy your opponent moxons and protecting protect from ramp or from playing big artifact creatures 
If you have a lot of artifacts in the deck, maybe it's better to remove it from sideboard. Two blood wounds against three or four tolerated decks, and also against powerful lands like library. This deck is for Atlantic, so it contains four Turing Purges. It's instant for one blue that deal just one damage to target creature or player, but if your opponent discarded, in fact, your opponent control discarded by him to Tarash or Hippie, it deals five points of damage to player who discard this card from your hand. Very good answer for Hymns. You know, your opponent plays the Hymns in the second turn and take ten points of damage. It looks like you need just a pair of lightning bolts to win after it. But if you play format without a lot of this card, you can remove it, put more moons, more control magics, more blue elemental blast and control magics. As I say, if you have good cards, you can remove control magic from main, and of course you can put extra control magic in the sideboard. After you build this deck, you can make it better by simple steps. As I say, you need Mana Drain and Feel of Fate, these good cards, brilliant red colors. Also, one of the simplest way to <laughs> make a deck better, in old school it's splash it to black. For Demonic Tutor and Mind Twist, not for any other black cards. Demonic Tutor is a Swiss knife, you help you to find any spell that you need, Lightning Bolt to finish the game, or Earthquake to kill creatures, anything you need in the same moment. Sometimes Mind Twist to discard your opponent hand. Mind Twist can discard your opponent hand. It's simple to splash just two cards, you can use for City of Brasses, I see some players use it and maybe it's good. I tried, it's work, but anyway, I sense some fear about stability of this variant, and of course, better to use at the ground seas to the splash. Next step is use power, of course, to make your deck more <laughs> powerful, and also you can change the deck because you can use not blue and red burn with Serene Deeps and Flying Mans, but Lion Deep. It's a popular deck, you can just add some Tundras and Plato maybe to use in the deck cards like Savannah Lions, Sierra Angel, this big one, good removal, Swords of Plowshares, it's not very good to burn strategy but can kill big creatures, and this enchant, it's much more better than Shatter, of course, destroy not only artifacts but enchantments, and the balance carded can break the game. It's first variant, second variant, it's popular too, it's play with blue and red attack. Uh, you just switch your flying mans to attack and put some cards like Ark of Mishra, more black vises, but attack need more power in the deck. If you can splash to white just with dual lands and see it without power still and have fun play with attack, you can play without power, but it's not so cool. This deck can abuse power very well, so you need at least five Moxons, <laughs> as I think. Maybe I'm not right. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.